this week on the Hoover Boys. A little excitement going over here. Our host, Chris, looks like he's got some hammered silver. England, day three. It was a nasty, disgusting, brain-filled day. But we found some stuff. Let's check it out. <laughs> a lot of junk so far today, but I want to pop this semi-live. Just in case. Deeper. Getting down to that Roman layer. Oh, what's that? What is that? Buckle? Oh, that is awesome. Let me get it in frame. I think it's a complete knee buckle with tongue and shape. It is. Oh, that is freaking beautiful. I knew that was going to be a good target. Look at that. Check that thing out. That's probably the hallmark right there. Complete knee buckle. Tongue and shape. It's got a little design on it. That is freaking awesome. I love this kind of stuff. I mean, I like coins as well. Who doesn't like coins? But I like the personal items. Especially when they're that beautiful. It's a good way to start the day. Good enough for a hand drop. You gonna start the day like yesterday? You wanna see my buckle? <laughs> you got a buckle. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Oh, I absolutely love it. Wow, dude. It's complete. A complete knee buckle. Yeah, that's special. <laughs> it's got like a maker's on the uh, bottom of the uh, shape. Yeah, you want to flip it over? That's like uh, late 1800s. <laughs> I like that stuff. Man. Oh. See the little maker's? <laughs> that's a nice early buckle. It's a good way to start the day. Yeah, that's neat. Now let's find some hammers. How about some rain? Turn it on. <laughs> some rain. <laughs> Well, it's definitely trying to rain now. Survey says? I don't know. It's oh! Awful. It's awful suspicious. Uh, yeah. That is stuff. Awful. Doesn't that usually that break. looks stuff very. Doesn't usually break that perfect, does it? Very, uh. on purpose. Intentional? Yeah, here, let's give it a little shot. It's got the right color to it. I don't see any letters on it. I don't either. Probably, Hell of a hit though, man. not. Hell of a hit. Brandon and TJ went home after lunch because it was raining harder than they wanted it to. And it was raining after lunch, but it just stopped. And I found something pretty cool. It's definitely different. It's definitely gold gilted. No idea what it is. But it has some sort of, my guess is glass stone in there. I had a problem IDing this in the field because the one I found was broken. Here's one I found in the US. It's a wax seal matrix. This one's actually complete. It has a watch winding key attached to it as well. The one I found in England didn't have a pictogram. This one has a pictogram that translates to, I hope you are well. Wax seal matrix. Probably Georgian era, 1700s. Too bad she's broken. Really cool relic though. So I wanted to get on video because I think it's pretty awesome. <laughs> he said it stopped raining. <laughs> Shh. 
Oh, it is a counter stamp. Can she's, I touch it? Yeah, she's stamped. You can put a, a finger on it. A light finger? Yeah, see if you can get a name off of it. This is, uh... Careful. It, that's not going to go anywhere. For sure? Yeah. Okay. Is it upside down? I think it's upside down. Oh, it's... Yeah, there you go. Ten... Robins, maybe? I can't tell. We'll look at it later. That's cool. Your first counter stamp copper. Number one. Anything? Orange yeah, hands? How many, many carrots should we eat today? <laughs> Too many. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> look at how it fell. I don't know. Nope. Good luck with that. <laughs> look at this view. Brad's got an 88, 89, cartwheel penny numbers. Yeah. It's that deep. Be my first. Nathan got one today. I can't dig mine in the states like dirt. <laughs> I'm trying to stay away from it. You scared of it? Yeah, definitely. I'd be scared of it. In case it's like a two shillings or something. Probably gonna probe it from the top side. Oh, Cop. Cop. A little copper. Oh. Deep and high, like. Yeah, it's deep and real high. Oh man, is there another one in there? Is that the problem? <laughs> Why was that thing up there? Jeez, man. Not even a good looking one. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I haven't found the coin today. <laughs> Look at this beautiful view, though. Mm. You can see snow on top of the mountain. Yeah, the whale's got snow. All right, on to the next. We're gonna be getting out of here soon, but I just popped a crazy deep coin. Pop the plug, move that much earth, square down at the bottom of that hole. Out came this. And I'm thinking King George II. Yep, KG2. Mid 1700s. Nothing crazy for over here, but the depth was pretty crazy. I'm just wiping mud back onto it. It's been a nasty day. Today we're starting in the horse pasture, horse paddock, where we ended yesterday. And uh, so far I have a flat button, and TJ has a silver. Was this your first hole? It was my second hole. Second hole? Yeah. There we go. 1865 yeah. Victoria. Can I take a peek in the hand? Yeah. Looks like a Merc. I know, doesn't it? 1865. Well, that's beautiful. Actually, you know what's funny? I found one of these in America. Did you really? Yeah, <laughs> at one of our parks. That's cool, man. Yeah, silver's always good. It's like half dime size. Yeah, look how It thin is always good. Look how thin that is. Nice hit. Is it deep at all? Uh, five inches. Nice. Yeah. Well, go find a bigger one now. <laughs> <laughs> I just found a copper that I wasn't, <laughs> had no idea what it was, and it's one of these right here. You say this is a, uh, a mine token? Mm -hmm. From the north of Wales, so it's from Anglesey, and it's from the um, copper or lead mine. That's definitely it. Yeah. And it's that scripty letter, you know, seeing on the back that was throwing me off. That's different and cool. I like it. Nice. I like different stuff. <laughs> A little excitement going over here. Our host, Chris, looks like he's got some hammered silver. Foo <laughs> foo. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Just keep going. Might have hit the other side to get some details. Yeah, some coming through there. Ooh. You recognize it yet? It looks like a little Edward, Edward the first or third. Edward the first or third. I think. Looks like it has nice relief. Ooh. Oh look. Hello. Dirt. See his little face. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice condition besides like a little chip of it. Would you look at that? This field has been so quiet for me. I'm digging this foil. And our host goes right in the middle of the field and pops an Edward the first. Thirteen hundreds, yeah. <laughs> Long cross. It's got beautiful relief. Three. Look six, at this guy. Nine, Twelve cannonballs. Look at that guy. Mm. Those locks. Yeah. He's a, he's a fancy one. 
<laughs> That's what we're after. Hopefully we get some. I'm shiny. Shut up. It, it's it's not hammered shiny, but it's, it's definitely shiny. I'm looking for Vicky shiny. <sighs> it's bigger than like the little three pence, so I don't know. Really? It's fun. You having fun now, huh? Oh. Yes. Oh, what is that? It's a it's a pine tree shilling. <laughs> That's gonna be old, I think. I hope it's old. Oh, well, it's good. silver. I'm happy. I almost got the fool in the camera. No, it's not that old. No. There's George. Oh, Georgie oh. boy. <laughs> I can give it a little swipey poo now. Yeah, now you can play with it. Yeah. So we have a George the Fifth. Pretty cool looking coin. It's got a lion and a crown on it. And it's uh, 1925. 19 on the left part of the crown, 25 on the right. Hey, Georgie boy. Day four is coming to a close. Worked hard for that one. And uh, we'll be getting out of here shortly. Hopefully there's more on the way out, but you never know. What's some sound? Sound. Low 80s. Oh, it sounds like a coin. Watch your wrist. There's a lot of uh, noises in this area. So, I think I'm gonna Sink back up my machine in a second. Big fat Roman. Oh, it's in the hole? Yeah. I think it is in the hole. No, I think it's right on the cusp of the hole. We're gonna find out here. Oh no, these are synced up to my headphones now. Should have been right there. Why live digs? Oh. There it is. That's silver. Oh. I hope so. Looks like it. Is that a Canadian quarter? <laughs> that was deeper than I expected. Some very low res silver. If it is silver, low res. <laughs> <laughs> Rub on that a little bit. Well. It is silver, but it's just completely beat. Uh, they're telling me it's a bullhead. 1817, George the <laughs> Third. 1817 silver, one shilling. They tell me it's a good-looking coin, but it's this one's pretty wasted. All right, well that's cool. Two silvers back to back. Ten robins. <laughs> Alright, well here's the wrap from days three and days, day three and day four, not days. Here's a take, so this is day three and day four. Start with the B-Rad. Three, three, four, four. Yeah, oh, th yeah, these are, oh, I don't need here. Nope. We'll go with you. Knee buckle, some lead. Mm -hmm. World War One hat pin. Nice. Yeah. Thimble, buttons. buttons. More modern to older. My only high, well, two highlights. So we have an Isle of Man, 1758, half penny. Yeah, the, okay, there's the, uh, it's got like three boots on it. It looks like a, anyway. And, uh, 10 Robins counter. Your first counter stamp. Yeah. And this is my day three. Yep. What expecting to dig an Enfield bullet over here, <laughs> dropped Enfield, <laughs> but I guess it is an English gun. Some Tom Back buttons, a dandy, a couple thimbles. That is Vicky. Vicky in a King George II. Really nice shoe buckle, knee buckle frame. The uh, trade coin weight. And that ended up being a wax matrix. Really pretty. It's just broken. Every time you do that, it gets knuckle. And this is day four. Mm hmm. That's be right. We got a bunch of lead day four. Those sounded amazing. Yeah, they were deep too. Yeah. I had you a got button day. A ton of buttons. Yeah. Ton of buttons. Yeah. And looks like a copper that's been mashed up, Probably. or a hammered copper. <laughs> yeah, that's my hammer. Maybe silver. I hope buckly so. thing. In Victorian. A couple big pennies. Just my more modern stuff. My pile of lead. But the this thing's interesting. One of the guys said it was like a lead needle or something. And uh, some buttons, spoon piece, 
big penny. That's the uh, mining, the whales mining copper. You got two little silvers at the end of the day. Like bang bang too. Yeah, back to back. <laughs> Is that a bullhead? Bullhead and I forget what that one was. Maybe a sixpence or three pence. Probably. I think it's a sixpence. Oh. And until next week, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take the trash with you. Why, Brandon? Why, bud? What's up? What's up? Trying to make mash. Because all holes matter. That too. <laughs> <laughs>